Hi, my name is Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Happy 4th of July weekend. I hope you're taking a bit of time off to relax, fire up the barbecue grill, and maybe cool off in the pool or the ocean with some family, with friends, or loved ones. Taking time off every so often is important. As artists, we're under a lot of pressure all the time. Pressure to achieve our musical goals, pressure to hit the charts, pressure to stand out amid the two million new songs that are being released this month, pressure to pay the bills, and that pressure turns into stress. And if you don't know how to manage your stress, well, very bad things can happen to you. So today, I wanna to share with you a piece of advice that I got years ago about managing stress that literally changed my life. And I'm not exaggerating. It was 2009, we were a little more than six months into the Great Recession. Our business had a lot of debt at the time, revenues were declining due to the recession, we were under a lot of pressure from the banks, we had laid off 100 employees, the stress was unrelenting. And by happenstance, I was invited at that time to attend for free a workshop on resilience. And I decided, why not? I might learn something of value. And it turns out one of the speakers at this seminar was a gentleman by the name of Jim Lear. And he runs a company called the Human Performance Institute that coaches humans, athletes, business people on how to achieve maximum performance and how to achieve a level of balance in their lives and manage and deal with their stress. And Jim Lear has this philosophy that your general well-being is kind of shaped like a pyramid, where at the bottom there's your physical well-being, then there's your mental well-being, then there's your emotional well-being, and then there's your spiritual well-being. And his philosophy is that each layer builds on the next, and that it can, each layer can only be as well as the layer below it. So if you're not physically well, you can ultimately not be mentally, emotionally, and spiritually well. If you're physically well, but mentally unwell, you cannot be emotionally and spiritually well. Now, you can argue the details, but you get the general gist. And I thought, oh, that, that makes sense. So at one point I raised my hand and I asked Jim, Jim, so I'm under all this stress all the time. It's unrelenting. How do I get rid of the stress. And he tells me, Tony, you don't want to get rid of stress. Stress creates growth. When we go to the gym and we work out, we are stressing our muscles. The problem is, if all you have is stress, like if all you do is go to the gym all day every day, you are going to get hurt because you're going to overstress. So the key with stress is you should welcome stress but you should also find ways to recover. And it's cycles of stress and recovery, stress and recovery. Just like when you go to the gym, you can't do leg days every day. Those leg muscles have to rest from time to time. So it was like a light bulb moment. So I said, well, how do we recover from stress? And he says, well, it's pretty simple actually. You need to find an activity that takes your mind completely off what is stressing you. And so I said, well, what is that? And he says, well, it, it varies from person to person. It could be gardening. It could be knitting. But for me, he says to me, for me, the favorite one is vigorous exercise. Because while doing vigorous exercise, you cannot possibly, if you're doing it vigorously enough, be thinking of what's stressing you out. And at the same time, you are building the health of the base of the pyramid. And that was life-changing for me. The formula of stress and recovery and how to recover from stress. And that evening, I called a trainer, I got a gym membership, and that was in 2009, and to this day, almost every morning, pretty much every morning, I exercise vigorously before I go to work. And then I'm cool as a cucumber. So the idea that we need stress to grow was so novel to me. It was almost a relief. It turned stress from an enemy or something to fear 
to, well, not quite a friend, but at least a frenemy. I could put stress into perspective and realize if I could handle it, it would create growth. So today, Disc Makers is still a sizable company of about 300 employees. There is certainly plenty of stress to deal with. However, I make sure that I take time to recover so that the stress doesn't kill me. I get my exercise and I make sure that I go away on a trip with my family every so often. How you will recover from your stress, what you'll do to take your mind off what's stressing you, I mean, that's very personal, obviously. But my guess is it may involve playing music with friends or with your bandmates. Whatever it is, make sure to take some time to de-stress and relax from time to time. So I hope you found my experience helpful. We can't avoid stress, none of it. But we can all certainly learn how to cope with it better and maybe even turn it into a frenemy. So this 4th of July weekend, I hope you'll join me in kicking back for a day or two, enjoy the company of the people we know, who we love, who we enjoy being around, cook some good food, have a couple drinks, get out of the house, and take our minds off what's stressing us. Happy 4th of July. I look forward to seeing you next time.